Yeah, he's somebody that we, we've always liked uh, going all, all the way back to his original draft year. And uh, you know, he had three three outstanding years in, in Houston and and uh, you know, just always thought that he, you know, he can play point guard. He can even play off the ball some. Great speed and quickness and uh, long range shooting ability. And uh, so along with you know, him and James Johnson, along with the rest of our roster, I just think that the versatility of our roster and the overall talent level of our roster has gone up. We talked about it yesterday in terms of being close to some moves. I mean, does this kind of conclude those? Well, you know, we're uh, at this point we're gonna we'll be a lot more select. Not I shouldn't say selective is not the right word, but just you know, we'll continue to look at opportunities. Uh, but I would say they'd probably be more in the area of trading than just actual outright signing. With James, I mean, a lot of people may not be as familiar with him as they were there. And can you just talk about what kind of dynamic he brings. Well, he's very athletic. He's a great defender already for a young player. Uh, he can play some at both positions, uh, primarily a three. Uh, has a handle uh, out there on the floor and uh, really had a, a really good year, uh, particularly in the first two-thirds of last season, and uh, brings some legitimate physical toughness out there and athleticism. Can you talk about the role you expect Aaron to have with the team? Is he coming in as a backup, or is he going to compete for the starting point guard spot? I think his role is going to be to come in and be a very good player. <laughs> How, um, with just a little on, on going in a different direction with this on? Um, well, we need to, in order to create the, the room to sign Aaron, one of the, one of the, uh, Things that had to happen was uh, Hassan had to be waived so we could get out from underneath uh, his contract. So that was part of the decision. And then uh, just obviously, you know, the ability to get Aaron really uh, made that decision a lot easier. Does this, to, does these moves that you made today, does this take you guys out of the running with Terrence Williams at any point? Uh, I think with the roster the way it sits right now, uh, with all the wings and uh, backcourt players we have, that um, you know, in the short term, it, it probably uh, wouldn't do anything with Terrence. But in the event of a trade or, or some opportunity to uh, you know create a different kind of roster spot, I mean, we'll, we would always have some continued interest in him. At this point, too, are you content with uh, the, the depth you have at big uh, with the waving of white side? Well, you know, ideally, you'd, you'd like to have five bigs, and, and uh, you know, we have four. Uh, I think Travis can play. Both Travis and, and James Johnson can play some some four in certain situations, but I think that's something we need to continue to look at.